Marco and college students are also heading back inside the classroom for the first time since mid-March. USF is set to welcome back students today for this fall semester. And eight on your side's Megan Gannon is joining us live from campus this morning. Good morning, Megan. Hey, good morning, Avery. So finally, there will be activity here on USF's campus, even though it's going to be limited. We know the university, they are welcoming back students with a hybrid model of learning. So it's going to be a combination of in-person classes and then online learning. And the university, of course, trying to limit the number of people that are out here on campus. So they have reconfigured classrooms, open spaces, and other areas of their campuses to allow for social distancing. Starting today, though, students will now have to understand Go a daily online symptom checker, which will ask them a series of COVID-19 related questions, and they must complete lists before they ever come onto campus. If you're good to go, you get a green check on your phone. Uh, if you're not, it will advise you, you know, probably best that you stay home and we'll call you. And then we, that'll trigger us to respond to make sure that you're not at any risk for your own health or at risk of spreading the disease to us. And we are told that students at any point in time while they are on campus, they may be asked to pull up their results of that daily symptom checker just to make sure that they are allowed to be on campus. Reporting live in Tampa, Megan Gannon, 8 on your side. All right.